Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to find the frame in the source and in the timeline. This is a really, really quick tutorial because it's just a couple of buttons, but it's something that you could have overlooked and I thought that it was pretty useful. So I'm just going to be going over that today. So basically what these are is if you go up into the sequence, we have two buttons right here called match frame and verse match frame. So match frame is useful in the timeline. So if I go to any point in the timeline and I want to bring this up in the source monitor, I can just click F and it'll bring it up right here. You can also go to sort, uh, sequence and then down to match frame. Basically what this does is it just takes the frame right here and then it finds whatever clip it is and it brings it up here like so. And then if you click on the, the uh, it'll also have the end points right here. So I, I don't know, I find this kind of useful if I'm like at the very edge and I don't wanna you know roll over the edits and change anything around. I can just go ahead and click F and you can kind of see what's on the other side right here. That's the most practical way I've used it. I'm sure there are hundreds of other ways that you can use it, but that's kind of how I've done it. And then the other way is to find a point inside your clip. So if you have over here in the source monitor, to actually find that in the timeline. So let's say you had maybe like 200 or 300 of these put together and you wanted to find the specific point where that you know piece of B-roll was used. So you can go, you can see like right here, if I hit Shift R, it's gonna bring me right into the timeline on that point. You can also hit sequence and then reverse match frame. And then now notice something, if I move over here and hit Shift R, it isn't going to find anything for me. And that's kind of useful as well because that means I know that this frame was not used inside of the sequence yet. It wasn't used at all because it can't find it anywhere else. You can also do that maybe for something like down here. If I double click on this piece of footage, it's the footage over here. But now if I go over here, I'm hitting shift R, but it's not bringing up anything. So I'm like, okay, this point in the clip wasn't used, but maybe if I go back here and I hit shift R, you'll see that it comes up. So I have used this point. And then if you double click over here, it'll actually show you those, uh, the points where uh, the points where the cuts in and out are with this right here. But I just thought that those were cool, neat little, you know, effects, some buttons that you can use um, to just basically speed up your workflow and have a couple of neat things neat ways to get to different points in your timeline and bring stuff up in the source monitor. That is going to be it today. Like I said, it was a quick tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.